Fran, you mentioned yesterday how much you would need Ovi today. Uh, obviously struggled from the field. Kevin mentioned that the, the plan, their plan for him was to, to switch everything on the pick and pop. What specifically went wrong for him and, and how might that have gone better? Uh, well, he started off very well, made his first couple of shots, and then uh, I thought he pressed a little bit. There were a couple of jump hooks that he shot that he probably shot too quickly. He had another couple of wide open looks that just didn't go down for him. And they obviously are going to guard him uh, very, very well because he's a, an outstanding shooter. Uh, they ran him off the line a little bit. He needed to adjust his game probably a little bit more than he did, but uh, he's, a, he's a pretty big weapon for us. It just wasn't happening for him tonight. Coach, Coach same question as, as I asked the players. Did you see anything different out of UConn in this third meeting than in the first two? You know, I, I, not necessarily. They are a, a, a drive it at you kind of team. I thought they, they wound up doing a lot of that yesterday versus Cincinnati. Uh, I thought Hamilton was absolutely terrific on some of the plays that he made. He made a couple of really tough shots, as did Adams. Uh, we helped a few times too much off of their three-point jump shooters. Hamilton in the corner one time, Gibbs up top two times uh, in the second half that really uh, that put some separation. But uh, And Adams was tough to keep in front of as well. He, I thought he made some really good plays. Coach, uh, just what went wrong at the free throw line tonight? Yeah, I wish I had an answer for that. And there, there, there was one, one play, I think Q cut it to six and, or seven, and he missed a, it would have been an and one. You know, we got a chance to set our defense, but we missed it. I think they went down and scored. Uh, there were a couple of plays like that. Uh, early in the first half, Jalen missed a couple of uh, foul shots, but that's the nature of the, the game. We, we didn't shoot it well for the foul line. A game like this, it's going to come down to the end where if we do cut it to six, if we had done a better job at, at the foul line, maybe we're down two or maybe even tied if we had done a better job, but we did not. Coach, what happened under the basket to Daniel Dingle? I know that he felt some contact there with some blood. Um, but is there any diagnosis? I, I know he played the rest of the game, but didn't exactly play appearing to be 100%. Yeah, no, I'm sure he was hurting, but he didn't want to come out of the game. and. Uh, he just drove it to the basket. I, I didn't see it on film or anything, so I'm sure it, he just lost his balance. He got hit pretty hard. Uh, he looked like he banged his, his mouth on the on the floor, which obviously caused uh, the amount of blood that was there. But Dan's a great guy, and, uh, and he wanted to be in the game. And I thought he gave every every ounce of energy he could. Coach, how do you rally your players when you're going against UConn and they have such a strong fan base that travels so well? Uh, I thought. UConn crowd was great today. Uh, we, uh, again, I thought we, we did a really good job of getting it to six. We had the ball and uh, game at six. I think we missed a, a three opportunity, which would have obviously uh, juiced us a little bit more. But they're a very good basketball team, and we knew that because of the first two times we played them. We were fortunate to win the game and knew that we were going to get their best shot tonight. Uh, Fran, how tough is the next 24 hours going to be for you and the team? Yeah, it's hard. It's, uh, it's very hard. So we, well, we've been through it. We were through it last year, a very difficult time. But uh, you know, it's, uh, it's the way it is, and we have to, we have to pay attention to, uh, to what other people will say now. And that's, uh, you know, we, 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 we've, we're no longer in control. Somebody else is in control. Fran, how, how challenging was it defensively when they, they went a lot with four guards, you know, Hamilton at the mm -hmm. four, and then Purvis and Adams from there? Gibbs to win the game. It's not easy. I, you know, Hamilton can play that four spot defensively, and he's got that very good size as a guard. I thought he made some really good plays. He, he got by us a few times. I thought he made some great penetration. Uh, we didn't get killed by the – I think he's the best uh, lob passer I've ever seen in college basketball. As he drives it in the lane, he sees his teammates great. We didn't get hammered by that. I think there, there was just one or two, two uh, dunks that they had off of very good passes by him. Hamilton and maybe uh, Adams as well. So, but he's he's good, and Adams is a really good player too. So I, I thought they both those guys were very difficult for us to keep in front. Coach, I know you said it's not in your hands, but in your opinion, do you think your team has done enough to be playing in March Madness? All, all I can say is I hope so. That's all. Uh, it's again in the hands of the committee, and we'll, we'll see how other games play out over the next number of hours and. We're, we're proud to have represented our conference as a regular season champion. We won a game in the playoffs, and, uh, but now we're, we're uh, subject to uh, a lack of control by us. It'll be somebody else's decision.
take one more question. Fran, it, it, same thing 12 months ago. It, do you feel, how do you feel inside as compared to how you did 12 months ago? I'd say similarly. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a killer number of hours that we're going to have to wait. Uh, and it, it's obviously the, the goal of every college basketball team when you start the season to get to the NCAA tournament. So we have, we have some time to, to wait, and we'll see how it goes. And we'll, we'll probably do similar things, just kind of get together as a team tomorrow night and see what uh, 6 o'clock brings. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.